Hello, this is Mark Carrington from MyBitcoinProfits.com. You'll remember last week I was talking about looking for reversals on the Bitcoin versus US dollar trade. So if I'll summarize where we were, this is the chart in front of you. It's a Bitcoin against the US dollar daily chart. And remember, we've got this descending downtrend line and we've got the long term uptrend line and what I was looking for was a reversal or potential trade entry above this bar here or but my preferred trades were to wait for it to break through test this downtrend and then run upwards or to pull back downwards to this uptrend line and to run forwards so the so there were some reasons to take the trade, which we'll remember those, and we were waiting for clear signs of reversal and clearly have not seen those. And I've now put on the chart some reasons to not take the trade, which I talked about in the video, is the first of those is the last high, that's this high here, was not higher than this high here. So it is a lower high. So that's a reason to be nervous. The MACD, which is a momentum indicator, is bearish. That's this indicator down here. It has crossed this line here, is a zero line. It has crossed this line and it is now indicating that it's bearish. And this had turned and started to flatten, which is normally an indicator that it wants to run up like this. But in fact, what it's done is it's gone sideways. And the last thing I mentioned is we had bearish divergence on those momentum indicators. That is, in this level here, we had um, similar highs and we had lower highs. That's an indicator that there is a risk that the trade could be turning downwards. So well, let's actually have a look at what has actually happened here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out what I hoped would happen and let's focus in on what's actually happening we have a what becomes a very uncomfortable situation for traders we have a series of lower highs and we have a series of higher lows so the trade is being compressed into a very narrow band. Now what typically happens here is when it breaks out, it will break out quite vigorously. So what we're looking for is we're looking for an opportunity for it to either break out up here, come back to retest this downtrend line and then to break up up here. I would be a bit uncomfortable making a trade here um, if, it, if it was to retest to the bottom of this arrow and start running upwards because there's this, this horizontal line which came from this area of, um, of trade activity which will become a resistance line and it will slow the trade down. So there's not a lot of space to trade. The other place that could happen is, is that it could break down here retest this uptrend line and then head back down there in which case we would be looking to be going short. So let's clear those away because there are a bunch of other things that are not very comfortable in this current trade situation. The first of those is we have here and I'm going to take this indicator out as well um, do it this way. Take that out so we've got a bit more space. And we have here, we've had a high here and we've got this level running across here. Somewhere here. If I could find the right lines to draw the lines. We've got a level here. What I'll do is I'll turn this into a line chart and I'll put the the lines across the closes. So that's a level and we'll change the color of this because this is a level that's come off a weekly chart. <clears throat> we go back to bars 
and, and what we have is ignoring the height of this of this trade up here because this is a very unusual day's trading here so but if say the height of, of this trade is somewhere around where this this close area is we have a series of highs here which are all at roughly the same levels um, these happen to coincide to be about a week apart and there's uh, sort of over a week and then these are uh, a little further in time two or three weeks later now quite often what we see is when a trade is running to the top of a range to the top of a of, a, of an up run it forms a top like this, pulls back, forms a top, and it's failing to break through. So this is starting to look like a very solid area resistance. And quite often the trade will then break down and um, it'll be quite some time before it goes back to test those tops. It's called a double top. So that's a the next reason that I'm a bit nervous about this trade is of being along, is there's the risk of a double top. Um, and that is supported by that bearish MACD indicator and supported by this bearish divergence that we've talked about. The next pattern in here to be somewhat concerned about is, is that we've seen this high here wasn't as... Um, what these highs are doing here, I'm, I'm going to talk about this one here because this one was lower than this one here and is higher than this one here. And there's a pattern here which is called a head and shoulders. And I'm going to draw it in there. So we're going to go from the low there to the top of the high there, which is called the left shoulder. We go back to the low here. We go up to the top. Now this top, this head, as you can see in the words there, head is higher than left shoulder. And it's headed down here to the low. And it's now forming the right shoulder and we don't know where the shoulder is going to end because we've not yet seen the end of this run but the risk is is it's going to do this if this forms a head and shoulder so we've got the left shoulder the head a right shoulder the trade will typically run down to this neckline here and will break down further question is is how far will it break is what it typically does is it breaks that's that's from the head to the neckline and what it typically does is, is it breaks the same distance again so what we will see is is that we will see a line running somewhere down there and the risk is is that if this thing breaks because of that double top, because of that bearish divergence, it could break right down here. Now, that is what the technical indications are about this trade. So the, there's a potential head and shoulders forming, which is a an indication of reversal. It's a strong indication of reversal. So from a technical point of view, I am very uncomfortable about taking the trade. Now what we might ask is, is that what is happening from a fundamental point of view that is causing this level of uncertainty in the market or indecision. Indecision is the better word. And I'm going to step to a, f a few other trade situations to show what I think is going on. So the chart I've pulled up here is the US dollar against the Chinese yuan. This is the offshore Chinese currency. And what we're seeing here is something also remarkably similar. We've got a series of higher lows and we have had take this run up out but even if including this run up here and I, I prefer to draw it this way because this is really what's going on here we have got a currency that is being held back and th that triangle looks remarkably like the Bitcoin US dollar triangle although this one has got a flatter top rather than the the lower highs now 
from a fundamental point of view, China is the largest holder of Bitcoin in the world. If, if we're seeing that their, um, their Chinese renminbi is holding the line against the US dollar, their, their one holdings are, they're not uncomfortable about their own holdings, whereas they were uncomfortable here, they were selling left, right, left, right and center, and this coincides with the run up in the Bitcoin price. So this is something that is, these two are related from a fundamental point of view. Now, in this time period, we might say, well, what, what is actually happening to the US dollar? And I will, it's not all of the currency pairs are behaving in the same way. So here we've got the US dollar Swiss franc, and we can see that we've got these higher lows, but we've also got higher highs. So the Swiss franc against the US dollar is continuing to weaken. So the fundamentals that are driving the Bitcoin and the renminbi are related to each other, and it's not directly related to the whole of the US dollar story. So if we go back to our Bitcoin chart is what what am I going to be doing from a technical point of view is I'm sitting on my hands because I am waiting for the trade to break out of this triangle and to confirm for a direction for me one way or the other. From a fundamental point of view, I am waiting for action on the Chinese renminbi to see which way that one is going to break because that will tell me which way this one is going to break. And then the other fundamental reasons like the supply and demand for Bitcoin is nothing to do with technical charts and that is why I continue to mine Bitcoin. Thanks.